Hi, in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through a, um, a run through on how to set up a delimited um, flex connector. So again, a flex connector is anytime we have um, a source where you know we may not have parsing out of the box for. So you may want to set up a flex connector for that uh, in terms of pulling that into our site here. So I have a sample file here. Um, sample CSV file. Um, I've got a number of different uh, fields here that I want to parse out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this into a, um, uh, a flex agent wizard here to, uh, to set up the parser file. So to start that, I've got my connector already installed, at least the base part of it. I don't have any connectors um, currently configured on here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and run this command from the current bin directory, arcsite agent flex agent wizard. And what that'll do is that'll bring up the flex agent wizard. Uh, and what I want to do is I want to point to this uh, the CSV file that I have here the sample event CSV. And I'll go ahead and find that here. Sample event CSV. And I'm just going to call this um, this uh, flex agent uh, configuration file. I'll just call it sample-csv here. That'll be the name of the parser file that I'm creating. So as I go ahead and go to the next screen here, um, I can choose the delimiter. Uh, mine's common delimited, but if I have a different delimiter, like a tab or a pipe, um, other type of delimiter, I can list that here. As far as text qualifier, that's just a double quote. So that just means if I have um, you know a, a strings within you know or a sentence uh, that has spaces in that. Uh, if they're within those quotes, uh, they'll be part of that text here. Um, if I have comments, they'll be pound. Um, trim fields just means that if I have any white space on the edges of the fields, I'll trim that. And then um, it, it's possible also to um, contain empty fields within this file. So once I go ahead and click Next here, it's, um, it's found the different columns that I had within the CSV. So I'm going to go ahead and map these different columns here. So for the event name, I'm just going to map that to uh, the name field. For the IP address, I'm going to map that to destination address. For the user, I'm going to map that to the destination username. And then for the time, I'm just going to map that to uh, to end time here. Okay. So once that's done, I can go ahead and click next. Uh, the date uh, format for the uh, the time field. Uh, this matches up what I have within the file, so it'll just be month, day, year, hour, minutes, seconds. Uh, for the device vendor. Um, Actually, I don't have anything that I want in here for right now. I'm just going to call this unknown. I can actually edit this later, and I'll show you in a minute. And for the device product name, uh, I'm just going to call this sample product. OK, so from here at this point, what I can do is um, either I can go ahead and create the um, smart connector, or I can just generate my configuration file. So all I'm going to do right now is just generate the configuration file. It's just the parser file that I want to use um, for this connector. So I've generated that parser file. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So I'm going to go into the current user agent flex agent directory. And here is my sample CSV SDK file reader properties file. I'm going to go ahead and edit this. And you remember I, um, 
I was only offered um, certain different vendors. Uh, I can actually put, I can actually go ahead and edit this. Um, and I'm just going to call this sample vendor here. Okay. Let's save that. And now that I have this, um, this CSV uh, parser, this delimited parser, I'm going to go ahead and set up the connector to read this. So let's go ahead and do a run agent setup. Okay, I'm just going to skip this part. I don't need to generate a global ID for this. Um, What I'm going to set up here is an ArcSite Flex Connector multiple folder file. I'm just going to say false for right now for log unparsed events. And go ahead and add my connector. I'm going to keep this batch mode here. Um, I am going to put in my folder here for this delimited so this is where that uh, that sample CSV file is located I'm going to go ahead and put in the name of my configuration file so it's actually this parser file but just the first part of it I don't need the extension so sample-csv is the file. The configuration type, this one is SDK file reader. And I'm going to go ahead and click next here. I'm just going to send this to a Ceph file for right now. And I'm going to go ahead and um, go forward with those properties here. Just going to call this uh, connector sample uh, delimited. Okay. And I'm just going to leave this as a standalone application and exit here. So now that that's done, I can go ahead and run this connector. you can see here that we've got the um, the events here and uh, those have been parsed and uh, put into uh, this uh, um, the Ceph file here so that's just it that's a simple tutorial on how to create a delimited parser here